friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. I have a haul video. So, anyways, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe that way. It'd be really awesome if you did. As well as like my videos and share them with your quilty friends. And don't forget to comment if you are watching this video. Um, anyways, so here is a haul video. As most of you know, I went to Las Vegas. And I went to the So Yeah Quilt Shop. Um, yes, I had fun and I hung out with Becca and I got to meet Brody and Tiankum and Zach kind of at the end, <laughs> like further on in the day. Um, so me and Becca had lots of fun and then a few of our fans, well, they came down and met with us there and hung out with us and while we were shopping. And it was a wonderful, wonderful, fun time. Scott and Jason, which is Becca's husband, got to hang out. We had lots of fun. So, anyways, this is a haul video of me spending way too much money. Did you hear me say that out loud? Way too much money. <laughs> okay, so I had a limit, and I kind of went over my limit. But there's some cool things about the So Yeah Quilt Shop, and you will see because um, the... I will attach to this video um, a quick, you know, little video of a small, my quick small tour of the So Yeah Quilt Shop. So um, if you guys don't know, So Yeah is located in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, it's actually fairly easy to get to, um, an easy quilt shop to find, so you don't have to like drive up and down weird streets and looking forever. It's a big building. It says so yeah so big on the building it's so easy to find so there's that and they also have um, de stash nights on Saturday and then on uh, Tuesdays is new stash and so on and so forth and in the first comment below this video I'll put a link to the so yeah YouTube channel where you can find those videos that they do and subscribe to their page as well as a link to Sobeka because she did a live tour that I showed up while she was recording um Brody actually gave her a tour around the to uh, around the actual store so I will put a link to that in the description or in the um I'll put it in the description and or the first comment um anyways here is my haul ready for this first off and this, I, I just want to show real quick. We're just going to go like this. That's a big stack, right? Okay. I got some stuff for giveaways. Um, you guys know that I can't really afford much for giveaways, and I do what I can. And most of the time, I 100% like giving away homemade items. But I got some stuff for giveaways. As well as I found myself some really cool patterns. Um, I got this Whisper pattern. It makes an 81 and a half by 90 and a half quilt and you guys know I like bigger quilts so this actually looks really cool I'll hold it up so you can see it looks really cool um, it just takes half yard cuts um, and that's by designs by JB by Janie Burke it's called whisper then I got this pattern called wagon parade and I'm I'm pretty sure this can be made a lot bigger than pictured, but it says it makes a 56 by, uh, where did it go? It was right there, 48 by 46 quilt. It looks like a pretty fun pattern, and this is by um, a Dream Quilts pattern by Lydia Nelson, so I'm going to try that. It looks kind of, I don't really follow patterns much, but they, they look cool, so there's something easy I can do on the side. Um, and then I got this pattern by Pattern Works Design Studio, a mini mingle mats and runner. And you know me, I, even though I never said I, I ever, I've always said I never wanted to make table runners, and I do now. And table runners are easy gifts for family and friends. I got a table runner pattern, and look, doesn't that look so fun? So I think that will be something fun for me to do. All right, the fun stuff. Um, we'll just get to it. So I got a Moda jelly roll here and I'm not going to open it cause I never open my jelly rolls, but this is a early bird jelly roll by Bonnie and Camille. Um, I don't know my fabric lines, you guys, uh, I'm pretty sure you've kind of known that by now. 
Um, so, but I'm going to hold it up to the camera so and turn it carefully so you can see the colors in here. It's really pretty. I like it. And I got fabric to go along with it. So I bought, you guys um, have probably noticed before, I buy two of everything. So I bought two of these jelly rolls because I tend to buy two of everything. So I got two of those. To go with those, I didn't even organize before doing this. To go with those, I got this one. I think it's this one. This one right here. I got five yards of this. I don't think it's fully five yards, so I think a couple of them are like, because I bought mostly end of bolts. Um, I can't tell you by my list, but I'm going to assume that this one was, I think, five yards. But this is called, just because you want to know, Lynette and Sun Designs, or yeah, Lynette and her and Sun's Designs by RJR Fabrics. I have no idea. That's what it's, oh, Winter Village. Okay, there it is. I found it. So that's, it's really, really pretty. I'm pretty sure this is the one I got to go with this. I think so. I think this is the one I got to go with this as its accent color. I'm trying to like pre-plan things in my head. So I got five yards of that and two jelly rolls. And I think the one I chose to be its main color is this one. That's what it was. Okay, so give me two seconds. I'm going to tell you a quick thing about the So Yeah Quilt Shop while I show you this. <clears throat> this is the one I got, I think. I'm pretty sure. Was it? Either way, I got this. Um, I'm pretty sure there's five yards on here. It's like a... Uh, a yellowy cream orange you like how I say that yellowy cream orange it's actually really nice it's it's more of something that I would do as a filler fabric or um, background fabric because there's not too it's not too busy there's not a lot on it so it's not gonna draw from anything so I got five yards of that and I want to tell you a quick thing if you buy at so yeah the end of a bolt they have this really cool thing that every month they do a drawing and you'll get a ticket. So if you buy the end of a bolt, they'll give you a little ticket, you fill out your name and your phone number, and if your name is drawn, you win a gift certificate. I thought that was awesome and I got quite a few of those because I bought a lot of the end of bolts. So I got this and I'm gonna just stack them back here because I only have one hand. Um, then Scott picked out lots of stuff. Scott picked out lots of stuff. We got this panel. Let's see if I can hold it up right. Panels in their um, sale room were $4. So I got this red, white, and blue panel that I can build onto and make into a nice wall hanging or something for somebody. So I got that. So like I said, panels in their sale room were $4. So Scott went panel crazy. <laughs> I can kind of use my fingers, by the way, but you'll find all that out in my vlog. I'm not going to um, talk about all that now. And then, obviously, you guys know that Scott was a Marine. Not was. Scott's a Marine. <laughs> he was in the Marine Corps. So he chose this for himself. And it actually says the Marine Corps on it. So it has the actual emblem and a really cool marine and some stars on a flag. So he got that. Well, I got it, but because I'm the one that's going to be making it. <laughs> All right. And then more panels. So this one's in a little case. Again, like I said, in their, their sale room. Um, four dollars for a panel I think that's pretty darn amazing we got a navy one because we support all military so we got a United States Navy panel again and it's got the saluting Navy man and if I say things wrong I'm sorry but 
Navy man sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother putting that back in its package. And then Scott has a thing for animals also. And I don't mind making quilts with animals on them. He chose this panel. It's a Hoffman panel. You guys are going to like this because I like it. See if I can hold it up correctly. It's sideways from side to side. It is a lion. But the cool part is inside that lion, can you see the birds and the tree? Like inside the lion is the birds and the trees and stuff and shadowing. Isn't that really awesome? So he chose that and obviously I can make something super awesome out of it. Again, I'm not even going to bother putting it in its bag, although I do keep my panels in bags if they come in them to keep dust off of them because my room gets super dusty. And then I got this fabric. Um, I got five yards of quite a few of them, and I think this is the last of the five yards. I got this one. It's five yards. And I can't hold it up with two hands or else I would read it to you. But it's a black with a pink and a red. I was thinking for a backing for a quilt. So this is Garden Delights 3 from Gray Sky Studios in the Beginning Fabrics. Yep. So I think that, I kind of like, there was another one that was blue, the blue version of this. But I kind of liked this one better. So I was just thinking this for like the back of a quilt. So that's why I got five yards. So that I can use it on the back of a quilt. And then... I'm going to go to this next one. So if you spend a certain amount of money at So Yeah, you get a um, gift card or gift, I, it's a gift card for um, $10 or I don't know if, they, if you spend even more, you get more maybe, I don't know, but you get a gift card. So obviously when I was done, I'm still not done showing you things, but when I was done, I went back and had to find something for $10 because I got a $10 card. And since you guys know I've been Getting as many purple batiks as possible, I got a yard of this. It is a pretty, pretty purple batik, and this was an anthology batik. Obviously, there's no salvage, but I know where I pulled it from because I gravitated towards it because it's purple. <laughs> and it mixes with all the other purples that I'm collecting, which are, they got mixtures of colors in them. So I got one yard of that. Then I don't know what drew me to this fabric because maybe I like the color pink and um, green is like camouflage and I like camouflage. So, and then it kind of reminds me of like lightning. I got this. So it is green with pink. I know for some strange reason, it doesn't look like something I would normally get, but I just bought it because it was the end of the bolt. And I think there's only like a yard and a quarter on here. It's not very much. Um, but And it was the only one they had. Or else I would have got more. But I can probably use this in the border of something. So it's, it's a green with darker green and a pink. And it reminds me of just lightning bolts. A ton of lightning bolts in a row. So um, I don't know. I like it. I think it's uh, really cool. All right. Then this one, let me see, let me see, let me see. Some of them there were like two yards on. I think this one's two yards. Nope, this one's 1.5. All right, so I got 1.5 yards of this. And this is actually going to be the accent color for a layer cake that I'm going to show you. So I got um, one and a half yards of this. Yep, that's it. And then that is to go as the accent color for this layer cake. So I got this Moda layer cake, um, Fine and Sunny by Jen Kingwell Designs. Um, I don't like to open my layer cake, so I'm just going to try to slide it so I can show you the prints. Because unlike jelly rolls, you can't see these colors unless we move them out of the way so there's yellows I'm not really gonna get them all exact but sorry I can't hold my hand a certain way 
I'm just going to pick through it so that you can see. There's yellows and oranges and greens. And Scott actually didn't like this layer cake. He's like, whatever. And then I found fabric to go with it. And he's like, oh, I like it now. That's great. He can't envision the things that I can envision. So it's got pinks and grays. And further in, there's like grays and then more oranges. And then we get into some darker. I know it's hard to record when I'm like one-handed and then it's got that and then an aqua is the last one so it's really really cool and then when you hold it with this it looks absolutely amazing right bear with me again when I get the chance I can buy two so I got two of those layer cakes I try to get doubles because I make big quilts on the norm you know that's my thing is big quilts so either I'm gonna make one big huge quilt or two exact same quilts for a tutorial or something so this layer cake to go with this fabric and then as its background color so this would be the accent color of whatever I do its background color this is the one right here that I chose and this I think is 4.625 yards so it is a white with a yellow and a kind of grayish color making those things but again if you put this one with this layer cake with this accent color they look amazing together even after scrolling through all the fabrics in here they look great together so I'm going to make something with all that and I normally don't pre-plan quilts but come on now oh and if you wanted to know what those ones are they are Big Sky by Ann Trady for Moda so that's what this one is and then the other one is Jane Pattern Sandy Clop for Moda happy quilting so that's what this one is so I got those with the two layer cakes and I think I know why I got this one instead. Now I'm looking at it and thinking, yeah, it's this one. So the one that I bought, which is this one right here, I got to go with this layer cake. That Felicity um, Dottie Floral. Uh, let me open it up out of here so I can show you. I got two. I always buy two. I buy two of everything. I try to when I can, like I said. All right, so this one, Felicity Fabrics. I don't know. Anyways, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to carefully just hold the top. And we'll pluck it down. This one's really pretty. They had it in Jelly Rolls too, but I decided to go with layer cakes because I haven't been making enough stuff with layer cakes <laughs> lately. <laughs> so it just has all sorts of pinks and purples and white I'm trying to make sure you guys can even see that I'm not going to be able to show every single one and then some mixtures come on and then some oranges but they're light they're like peachy more peachy pinky oranges and then pinks and purples and this one I think is green no blue I can't see. Yep, that's blue. <laughs> and then purples, and then pretty blue, and pinks, and more pinks, and so on. So yeah, I think that's the one I got this one for. And if you look at it together, yep, that's the one I got that for. That's why I bought five yards, was to go with this one, and that's why the other one has the other. Yeah, that's what this one was for. So I got two of these. And I will bag that back up later. So there's another project right there. And don't mind my squeaky chair. And then, wow, I've already went through everything. That was so fast. Wow. You know, it's as fast as you spend the money, too. Like, seriously. I told you guys, I spent a lot. Here's one thing that you know I never do. I never do holiday. I don't do holiday prints. There's a reason. I just, 
if I make a holiday quilt, nobody's going to want it. None of my family. They're, they're not into those kind of fabrics. They want sparkle and shine. They want rainbows and unicorns. You know what I mean? That That's just the kind of... I know my family and friends. So... I decided that this year for 2021 I was gonna make something holiday even if it's the simplest thing ever so what holiday did I choose to make for Halloween <laughs> so I got this layer cake it's a Riley Bra Riley Blake designs it is Halloween but it's kind of cute with witches and I'm just gonna have to put this up this is what's inside of it see all of them so this is what's inside of it. It's Goose Tales by J. Wecker French. Wow, that's a name to say. Anyways, so I got a layer cake that's Halloween. So guess what holiday this year I chose to actually finally make a Halloween project? A, a project is for Halloween. I chose Halloween. So there we have it. That is my haul from So Yeah. Whew. That was a lot. I spent a lot of money. More than I should have. But that's okay, because look at all the stuff that I'm going to make now. I've like already pre-planned pre projects going on here. And I'm telling you, this layer cake right here, or I mean layer cake jelly roll, and this fabric go amazing together. And can I tell you guys a little secret? You want to know how I choose a fabric that to go as my accents or backgrounds? Is I look in the swirl of the fabric. And you guys, here's a clearer side. I look in the swirl and I say, which color is more dominant? Or which one is there not enough of? Red, in this case. Red is way too strong, or the blue is way too strong. Green is way too dull. I want to bring out the red. So that is why I went with the red. So I tend to do that. I gravitate towards doing that, which is, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Sometimes they don't match, sometimes they do. But I gravitate towards a, a color that you see in the swirl. <laughs> so there's that. So whatever I make will be fun. And that's what I got. So grand total, I can tell you I spent too much money. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching That's My Haul. And I will now let you watch the rest of my video, which is the So Yeah Quilt Shop Tour. And don't forget to check them out. Again, I'll put it in the links and stuff. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe down here that way. Don't forget to like my videos and share them with your quilty friends. And I will see you when I see you. Bye for now. Hi guys, Tim here. Welcome to my quilting life. Today I am in the So Yeah Quilt Shop making a video. I'm just going to upload it, just showing you that I'm shopping in their sales room. And you got fans in the background. Fans in the background. <laughs> <laughs> We're just in the sale room. Uh, I'm going to take a quick round the store, like a literally quick round the store video. Oh, and then the I'll share this with you guys later. So let's take a quick walk around So Yeah Quilt Shop in Las Vegas. And I'm going to put this up for this video. Oh, lots and lots of fabric. They have a children's room. Like all sorts of licensed prints. And they have all sorts of prints here that are like novelty prints. Novelty prints. This is just a quick around the store video. Here's where they have all their machines that they sell. We're going to take a quick walk through here. And so they have the tables. Lots of tables. Then there's more novelty prints. novelty prints and notice there are patterns on all the end caps makes it easy to shop and find fabric with your pattern grunge aisle look at that all grunge this 
solid. They have a classroom. I'm not going to show that. We're going to come around here to this back side. They got their long arm quilting area. All sorts of fabric. My video is going to be kind of short for this. We're going to walk through the center area here where all the solids are. So they have shelves of solids. Solids are all in order by color. More solids. Novelty prints for Valentine's Day and whatnot. Red, white, and blues. More novelty prints. Pre-cuts. We're walking in over where they have all the boutiques and pre-cuts. Pre-cuts. Panels. Boutiques. All boutiques. Let's go find purples, just so I can pet them. Ooh, here we go, purples. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Gotta pet the purples. Ooh, this one is pretty. Look at that, it's so pretty. We're just taking a quick tour around the store, a Soya quilt shop in Las Vegas. I'm all by myself, so I could pull my mask down. More boutiques. Oh, I'm struggling to hold my arm up, but we're going to do this. I'm going to come through here. More pre-cuts. And then they have their filming room and notions. Notions. And uh, notions. And a backup. I'm just doing a quick shop tour. Okay. Do you need help, Tiffany? No. <laughs> I'm trying. And then handy quilter stuff back there. And that's it. So thank you for watching my thank you for watching my video at the Soya Quilt Shop. And I'm going to get off of here because my arm is hurting me from trying to hold this. But I just wanted to do a quick little tour video for my channel. So if you guys are in the Las Vegas area, don't forget to stop by this big, huge 10,000 square foot shop called Soya Quilt Shop in Las Vegas, Nevada. Bye, everybody.